What is up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we'll be going over a little piece of Nintendo history which is the Nintendo Game & Watch. This one in specific is the French model um, widescreen Turtle Bridge which was made in 1982 from my research. I had to do a little bit of brushing up on the Game & Watches. There was various different series and I will link a Wikipedia link in the description of this video so you guys can check it out for yourself. Uh, if you're at all interested in these things, I think they're pretty cool. This is the JI-21 Turtle Bridge model. So anyways, basically these were these were Nintendo's beginning of their handheld consoles. This is almost pretty much the, the grandfather to the Game Boy and then the grandfather to the Nintendo DS and 3DS and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Um, this one in particular takes this type of batteries, LR43386 uh, type batteries, which I just put in a new set, hence why it's on right now. So I will set up my camera and I'll show you guys what it's like to play one of these things. It's uh, kind of a lame game. I mean, they're, it's pretty cool to think that these were, these were the entertainment of the 80s, the early 80s, but um, honestly, the games are just basically get a high score and then that's all there is to it is try and get a high score. So anyways, I'll, sh I'll plant my camera down and I'll play a couple rounds. All right, so I got a little flashlight here right next to me because these screens are extremely hard to see stuff on. But to play this thing, basically, oh, there we go. To play this thing, you just had to play, press a game and then the Game & Watch, Mr. Game & Watch is right there. And you hop across these turtles to deliver these packages to the other guy when he shows up. There you go. And then all you do is you then hop on the turtles all the way back to get another package. And then your score is at the very, very top. So all you do is you basically just keep hopping along, hopping along. And then when you fall down, you end up falling down and you lose. You get one miss and of course you get three misses. And if you get three, then you're out. So trying to get the best angle because this is hard to very hard to see unless if you have a good good lighting and then there we go once you get all three then it just beeps at you and that's the end of the game and then you can play again oh there we go i know that's i got a little the battery cover's gone on this thing unfortunately so i've got to hold the batteries in with my fingers and a little piece of cardboard but it seems to be better now that I'm holding it. But yeah, the little guy has to show up. There you go. Now we can go back over. And yeah, that's that's this game. That's the Game & Watch. So I'll show you guys the back of the box right now. As there was multiple different other widescreen Game & Watches from the 1981 to 1982. And I'll show you guys those right now. I'll show you the whole box and the Game & Watch up close. So now for a little size comparison here, here's the Game & Watch. I mean, it is tiny, just in my hand, very, very thin. Here's what it looks like next to a Nintendo 3DS, the original Nintendo 3DS. I mean, it is so small, so slim. It's not even close to the same size as even a 3DS. And then now looking at the back, I'm unfortunately missing, out the, missing the battery cover, but it takes, it tells you right on this little thing, if you guys can read that. So it's the model number, TL2, TL2, 6, 2, 8. And then it tells you the rating, tells you the batteries it needs, Nintendo Co. Limited, 1982. And that says made in Japan, patent pending. Pretty cool. And then it's also got a little stand right there as well. And I mean, that is the Game & Watch. And then it comes in, of course, as I still have the original foam piece as well right there and then here is the box the box isn't in the greatest shape but it's pretty good considering the age so everything on the box is french as it was purchased in france many many years ago so then the back of the box shows all the different wide model versions of the game and watch that there was for this i guess this make of the game and watch there was the parachute game popeye the octopus game and then also the fire game as well so and then at the edge of the box you have nintendo co-limited so pretty cool to see this 
this old piece of Nintendo history. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next one.